Welcome to my fridge. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking you through a little bit of a clean meal prep. So I wanted to start with the groceries that I've got. First things first, we got our proteins. Down here, we got the lean, mean fighting machine, some chicken breasts. Up top, we've got the Jenny O's ground turkey, 93% lean, 7% fat. And over here, we got the little naughty naughty, 85% lean, 15% ground beef, because you gotta get your fats in, and this is the way that I like to grab them. And then up top, we've got the baby spinach. Honestly, I am horrible at getting vegetables in my diet, so I just like to come in here, pop this bad boy open, take a handful with every meal, and off we go. I should probably work on that, but it is what it is for now. Over to the counter, I have a randomly displayed assortment of carbs and some seasonings. We've got the Uncle Ben's Ready Rice, the Jasmine Rice, easy to make. Just pop it in the microwave for about 90 seconds and you're good to go. We've got some sweet potatoes. We've got some spicy black beans over here that add a really nice flavor uh, to these meals that you'll see me making in a moment. And they're a great source of fiber. And then over here really is the only additional kind of seasoning that I add onto these meals, a little salt, little pepper, a little bit of olive oil, really just for the sweet potatoes. Besides that, I try to stay away from seasonings just because uh, you know sodium intake can be kind of a watch point for me in my diet. With that said, it makes things a little bland, so there's nothing wrong if you want to throw in a little bit of seasoning. They've got low sodium options, I just don't get them. So anyways, it's time to cook. Okay, first things first is the Uncle Ben's Jasmine Ready Rice. This is very, very easy to make. You just simply tear off a little corner of the bag, Start mashing it up a little bit with your hands to break up all the rice particles that have been sitting out there on the shelf. Get everything nice and loose. And just pop it in the microwave for 90 seconds. This rice is a very, very excellent source of carbs. It's low in fat. It's basically sodium free. And a single cup of it comes with about 52 grams of carbs, 2.5 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, making this an excellent, excellent clean carb staple. All right, next up are the ground meats. All you've got to do is pull them out of a packet, tear them up, throw them onto something on your stovetop, and cook them until they're done. Uh, the difference here between the turkey and beef is in the fat content. Beef comes with about two times as much fat as the turkey. Uh, they both have the pretty much exact same amount of protein. It's about five, five and a half grams per ounce. Uh, no carbs, so these are excellent sources of protein, and depending on your fat goals, you know, you can, you can knock a lot out of this or not. One cup of the spicy black beans weighs in at 40 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, and 10 key grams of fiber. This is an awesome way to spice up any dish without sacrificing too much to the sodium gods. The last carb on the menu for today is the sweet potato. Per ounce, sweet potatoes contain about 5.8 grams of carbs, 0 grams of fat, about a half a gram of protein, 1 gram of fiber, and 1.8 grams of sugar. I bring up the sugar because this can be a watch point depending on how much you have throughout the rest of your meal. The way I prep these is real simple. I slice them all up uh, into decent sized chunks. I lay them down on a couple of cookie sheets, spray them down with olive oil so I can control how much olive oil is there, really minimize that. Put a little bit of salt on, put a little bit of pepper on, and then I pop them into the oven, which is what you're gonna see next. All right, sweet potatoes are prepped. Time for them to go in the oven. Oven's set to 350 right now. So we're gonna bring these guys over here, slide them on in. <clears throat> And what we're gonna do for this first little round, we gotta do, we gotta cook these on both sides. So for the first round, I do about 10 to 12 minutes on 350, flip them, do another 15 or so, kind of gauge it when they come out. Uh, so we're gonna start with this timer at 12 minutes. So Google, okay Google, set an alarm for 12 minutes. There, your alarm set for 8.27 p.m. Thank you, see you in 12. Last, but certainly not least, is chicken. I know this is a very boring option, this is very plain Jane, but honestly, you don't get much better bang for your buck protein-wise than just good old-fashioned chicken. A single ounce of chicken comes with about 6.5 grams of protein and only about half a gram of fat and zero carbs. So I like to go with the thin-sized fillets, very easy to cook over a stovetop on a skillet like you see here, just flip it a couple times, you're good to go, throw it on a cutting board, chop it up. Um, if you want to add some seasoning, uh, there are some low sodium options. If sodium is a watch point, you can also use a lot of hot sauces because they do actually taste pretty good and they don't cost you too much. All right, all the food's been cooked. Everything's ready to go. Time to fill these bad boys up. Turn all this into some meals in three, two, one. Magical. All right. So we're all done prepping the meals now. We've got our chicken and sweet potatoes over here. And we have two very similar meals over here. We've got the turkey with a half a cup of beans 
and one cup of the Uncle Ben's rice. And then we've got the ground beef with a half cup of beans and one cup of brown rice. I'm gonna break down the macros for each of these individual meals uh, in the notes below, so check those out. But that's it, that's all. Meal prep's done. Time to deal with this mess. All right, thank you for tuning in uh, to check out that meal prep video. Uh, like, I, like I think I mentioned, when it comes to my meal prepping, I really only try to do it four days a week. I like to have that as, a, as like a staple weekly habit that keeps me on track. I'm all about kind of a, a three quarters, like a 75% focus when it comes to being really dialed in, probably with diet and training, um, because I don't want it to consume my lifestyle. Uh, or my life in general, get in the way of other things like having some fun, having relationships, just just enjoying life. You know, you don't have to be perfect with this stuff. Um, I'm not trying to become a professional bodybuilder or a fitness model or anything like that. Um, you know, I really just, I, it's all about me being healthy, me being well-rounded. So if I stay dialed in for four days, then, you know, I can go out and have a night out with the boys or with the girlfriend and you know, have a bunch of tacos, have some nachos, margaritas, pizza, uh, pasta, you know, all of the good foods. And, and I'm not gonna worry about it because I know that, that due to my habits and due to certain things that I do at other parts of the week, everything's gonna balance out. Um, so that's the main takeaway from this video is, you know, if you wanna have kind of a staple, a rock, um, you know, type of a template to do some clean eating, this is an easy way to do it. It really doesn't take that long and the food is pretty good. Um, also, you know, if you're, if you're not my size, I'm 6'2", 200, 205 pounds. So, you know, if you're, if you're looking for different amounts of, uh, you know, macros, stuff like that, uh, then cut the meals down in half. I've done this, I've done this prep with my girlfriend before to get her some staple meals while she's running around all week because she has a job where she's, you know, in and out, crazy, crazy schedule as well. You know, like, uh, the LA style where not two, no two days are ever the same. Um, and what she did is she just took the proportions, cut them in half, and she's good to go. So mess with it a bit, uh, taper it to, to fit your needs. But yeah, I hope this is beneficial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I'm going to bring, be bringing more and more content. And uh, yeah, just thank you again for tuning in. Hope to see you soon. Bye.